So I purchased Rescue Beauty Lounge's treatment system. It got back in stock and it was out of stock originally. And then if you read the founder, G, she um, always does these little ditties about why she does things. And she reformulated one of the steps in it, which is why it has this little sticker thing here. But these are the directions. And so I have to apply a base coat prep and then I follow with the thin coat of base coat and then I do two coats of a color and then I do a top coat and I have to make sure that the nails dry thoroughly between each step. So this is what the system looks like. And so there's the, each little bottle is a step. And on the side of the bottle, it actually has what each step says. I don't know if you can see it. So this is one base coat step, base coat prep. This one is the second step. This one is base coat. And then I am going to add a color here, and I am going to do the color plie. It's supposed to be this really beautiful, like neutral kind of pink color, but it's kind of a dusty, but dusty mauve rose ish color. <laughs> but it's supposed to be a really beautiful cream. And then it says, last but not least, is to use their top coat. Okay, so technically it's like four steps. And then this is a little treatment system, which is kind of this nice little box. You know, I like boxes. Really nice little cardboard box here. So I figured the best way to kind of show you this is to just do it. Um, so hopefully I can edit it so it doesn't take so long. Okay, so first step is base coat prep. And when she was explaining it, she was kind of like, this is like a primer. You know, when you do your makeup, you sometimes use a makeup primer. And so she was saying that you should think of this as a makeup primer. And this will kind of just help seal at the deal for your polishes kind of thing and kind of really help make your polish last a really long time. I mean I don't really mind how long mine lasts because I like to change mine so often. But I thought that the concept of this was really interesting and this is like kind of going on like water. It's kind of different. has quite a smell to it. And the brush is kind of like oddly narrow. Because I would think you would want to go fast. Because it seems like this is like, you know, something that should just be able to quickly go on. But because the brush is so narrow like takes much longer. You can kind of see where I'm soiling the paper here. Okay, so that was step one, base coat prep. And she says to make sure that they dry. Ooh, and they are. It's kind of like mattifying the nail. It's kind of like almost drying the nail bed out. interesting but that's kind of what she explained it as it was like um like a primer like how you do your makeup and that some people just need that extra kind of mattifying primer now we'll try just one coat of base coat
Now we're going to let that one coat of base coat dry. Okay, our base coat is dry, so now I'm going to do two coats, and this is the color plie. Okay, and let that one coat dry. I'll make sure I speed this up. Okay, first coat is dry. So now I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat. Okay, so two coats of plie went on pretty nice. The first coat is because it's a cream is a little bit streaky. I think anytime you have a cream nail polish, it almost demands you have two coats. Otherwise it's this beautiful like pinky neutral. Now we're going to let that dry. Okay, so after our two coats of plie, our nails are dry. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the last step, which is just to do a top coat. So in the treatment system, you can buy all three things together as one. And RBL polish is $18 a bottle, so you do save some money because I think the kit was $48. Now, I know some people say to like do the end of the nail, like um, kind of go around the edge and then come back up top, but I just am not very good at that because I end up having like this kind of lumpy pseudo French manicure because the edge is lumpy because I went around with the polish. So I like to just brush mine on straight. What I do do is when I file my nails, is I kind of really buff out the edge 
on the top of the nail. It's not only along the nail to give it its shape, but I kind of also just buff very lightly on top of the edge of it. And that really kind of helps my nails from chipping. So if anything, they just kind of slowly fade at the bottoms. So now that's the top coat. And that is the treatment system. I'll do some pictures of plie so you can see it a little bit better. But it really is just this really pretty kind of pink, dusty pink neutral. And it is a cream. So it is really appropriate. It's the beginning of February, February 1st when I'm filming this. So, you know, it's still kind of dusty, so it's wintry. And then it's a pale pink, so it's February. Um, yeah. Anyways, I really like it. I think it's a very flattering color because it's kind of neutral cream, but it's also got a hint of pink to it, so it's not too mannequin hands. But then this is the treatment system. So it was the base coat prep, base coat, two or three coats of your polish, and then a top coat. The treatment system itself is these three polishes for $48, so you do save six bucks. And then each polish itself is $18. And you can buy the base coat prep on its own, which is what I did. Because she reformulated and she, you know, when you listen to her or read her blog about why she did it, it does kind of make sense. So I bought a single bottle of it so that I can just kind of use it all the time, um, you know, with my other polishes as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be an RBL polish. So you can get just the base coat prep alone. And that is my Rebel self manicure for a couple days here until I decide I want a different color.